morning everyone it's Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Monday the 29th of January 2024. Yes I know I wasn't on yesterday but I did film I just didn't uh, make it live um, because I was filming from the comfy spot of my bed and at the end of the day I thought no 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 I'm not going to <laughs> show you that uh, and it was only 17 minutes you weren't missing much um, so basically what happened in a, in a quite sh nutshell is I was doing some exercises to help my back as you guys know last week blah 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 and I strained a muscle I'm better today thanks to Tylenol and movement and so here I am we are going to work on the Hobonichi Cousin in this beautiful hand stitch leather tee cover um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have done some work in this. And after we do this, I am going to do a quick flip. And I am fairly certain that this video is not going to be an hour long, guys. I have decided to cut it back some. So let's hope. Um, because my last video, come on. Like, that could have been three different videos, honestly. So what I have here is I'm trying to use up my stash of Villa Beautiful stuff. Uh, they're gorgeous, and I don't know why I haven't used them. So I have the Villa Beautiful sticker book, um, Little Magic Prints from February 2021, and I also have um, one from March 2021. And um, this one even has the, the little sticker um, sheet in it as well. These I usually file away in this book here, which is also from Villa Beautiful. Um, it's a great subscription box. Honestly, it is. Um, and I usually put those in here because as you can see, these fit in beautifully like that. And I'm just trying to see, is there one for this? And there probably is. I just have to find it. And these are great when I go to put them um, in the smaller books that I decorate. So let's just see if it's in here or if I've used it. I may have used it already, but there's a lot of like stickers that I really need to be using up, functional and otherwise, you see. So I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, I don't see it in there, but it doesn't really matter because that's where I generally put them, and I may be even putting that in there. So for the moment, we'll see. We will see. And let's see, where can I put this? Mm, that might be in the way. I do have my water, and I pray that you guys have some water too. My goal is to get more water in. Now, it, initially with this book, I was going to do something like mitts from My Life Mitts, um, where she uses this as a gratitude page. And then I thought to myself, you know what? It's set up for the vertical. I have other books. And so um, I went back and I kind of did a few things here. Not much. Um, I still want to fill this in more. I've tried different ways. This was from Mama Gracie Plans. This one was from Maniki Plans, the setup. And this was from, I don't know, inspiration all over the place. But here essentially is what I was using. Uh, Sharon from Joy to Plan gave me the idea of uh, writing down videos that I was watching. That way, if I needed inspiration, this was last week. And this is this week. So we're going to start here. And if we have time, we'll go back. So I wanted to use the darker one for this week and get the appointments in. And I'm going to sit down and pray that you guys have all had a great week. Now, these sticker books are great. Uh, this one's called Free Spirit. And that's, gosh, I don't know if you guys can see. That is what's included. So you get two, four, six, eight, nine. And then that free little 
bonus one. So it was 10 altogether. So there's functional boxes and everything in here. These are great. And this, this plastic here is great for tipping in on a B6 size. Here's a B6 size here, you see? Or even like smaller, you can cut it. So I have some appointments, pardon my arm. I always refer to my calendar, which you can see January has been absolutely like crazy. And February is starting out to be that way as well. Uh, P.S. By the way, these are some of the exercises here that my my uh, physiotherapist is having me try. <laughs> and that's what kind of strained my back. So, and today, <clears throat> I don't, like I've gone for my small little walk. But I don't even know if I have time to do another walk after this video because I'm getting my middle daughter and uh, we have some errands to run, but she's going to come back here and help me with a few things while I have a Zoom call with another doctor. So um, because she has my two grandchildren that are in school, it's very hard for us to get together. So I just want to put down some of the appointments that I've got going on and I've got um, not my daughter's not an appointment, but you know what I'm saying, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then Friday is Groundhog Day. So six appointments. And then look at all these beautiful stickers here. So she's got a very classy design. And I can't remember her name, but she does have a YouTube channel. I will link her. And she does have date boxes right here. So I'm going to start using them because I have them. If I have them, I'm going to use them. Might as well. Um, she gives you two weeks. I could literally do two weeks. I'm wondering, though, if I'm going to do two weeks, I might use this one because of the car. Yeah, and it's got this one. So I might do that. Because in the back, yeah. It's got pink and blue. So let's do blue for this week. And I need tweezers. And let's go at it. Now, I'm not a very quick planner, folks. I'm not. But at the same time, see, these boxes are a little too big. But whatever. Um, let's see. What time is it now? Um, guys, I'm going to talk to the box, okay? Alexa, set the alarm for 9.20. Good morning now. Alarm set for 9.20 a.m. So, yeah. That doesn't give us much time, but... I have been busy. I do my morning routine. And my morning routine consists of getting all my, like, general house tie done. I've made it sort of a, yep, I'm going to call it resolution that I never have to wake up to dishes or a mess anymore before I go to bed. I leave my house exactly as I would leave it. If I was to go away on holidays, what's kind of bumping in the back here, this charm, um, because nothing is worse, I feel, when I get up from sleeping, which I've been trying to, like, readjust my sleeping schedule. As you all know, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I welcome you with open arms here. Uh, I have a lot of books. <laughs> um... But this one is one of my core books. But I used to be up all night long writing, and I've been trying very, very hard to get back into the sleeping at night schedule. It's very difficult. And yet, at the same time, it's liberating for me as well, because it's something that I've never really been able to do. And that one is crooked. So I've been trying to do that, and... I must admit, I do feel more rested and more energetic. 
And I think that's because perhaps it's sort of how things should be where a person sleeps at night. But, you know, for years and years and years and years and years, I was always a kind of night individual. I'm going to have to stand for this one. And like I said, I don't normally put date covers, but that will have to do. This one I won't have to trim, obviously, because there's a big gap. So yeah, I've been trying with that because healing is important and apparently the best healing for your body occurs between the hours before midnight and 5 a.m. So my specialist has told me. So I am trying my best. And this is some holistic doctors I see as well, not just like doctor doctors. I see a good many holistic doctors as well. And so, you know, I, I'm open to sort of everything. I will do pretty much whatever it takes to have the best physical feeling year of my life because that helps my mental health in a huge way. And as I spoke about my last video, if you managed to watch that video all the way through, and I think, um, I think there was, you know, a fair amount of you, like, I mean, 30 people watched the whole thing, which I think is amazing. Um, I could barely get through it. So, you know, hats off to you. Um, let's see if I have any numbers in here. Let's see if I do. I really liked her subscription boxes. I did. Um, but she, she's kind of, I think you order her boxes, um, on the first and she doesn't have like a running list yeah it doesn't look like I have any like ones with the numbers on it here and most of my other stickers are up in my room because I was doing a lot of stuff up there and wondering if I should take my planning stuff up there to be honest oh I have numbers here right here numbers are going to be a pain Let's see what I've got here. Okay, here we go. 29th to the 4th. Well, I don't have the beginning of those ones. Let's see. I've got those ones. So we can use these ones here. Now, numbers, boy, folks, let me tell you, um, this is great for my hand-eye coordination, let me tell you. Really it is, because I struggle so much with that. But because I have these stickers, I do want to use them. I sort of made a promise to myself that I need to get through these stickers that I've got doesn't mean that I, I'm not going to allow myself or disallow myself to purchase anymore. But if I don't start making like a dent in what I've got and I add to it, that just seems to me a little bit wasteful. So I don't really want to do that. So here we're entering February this week. My goodness, I can't believe it. Thursday is February. So this is a true plan with me, with Mel. I mean, just like one topic, one, one thing, guys. Like, honest to God, I, when was the last time you saw me just stick to one planner? <clears throat> and to be honest, I just grabbed one. That one's a bit crooked, but I'm not going to fuss. Yeah, I just grabbed one planner and came and uh, said, okay. Let's do this. And sometimes having limited choices is the best thing. 
So I like this sheet because it says, try it Tuesday, have a great Thursday. Yeah, it's Friday. Life is good, especially on a Friday. Um, I really like that. Okay, let's see what we can do here for these boxes. Because I have to get some appointments down. That's kind of the key. And then I could add all these other things. Let's see what we've got. So that I want to use for last week for sure. The car. Um, So yeah, as, as for me, I think because my lap belt engaged and not my shoulder belt, that's basically why I'm feeling it a little bit. But it wasn't um, it wasn't very hard at all. I did get a call back on ICBC saying all was well and all was good and the ladies were not contesting anything. There was no bodily harm. So all was good, thank goodness. Um, I don't wish that on anybody. This one's hard because I pick up my daughter at 9.30, but then right in the middle, I have a Zoom call. So how am I gonna do that? Okay, well, let's take one of these guys here. I'll take a blue one because it's Monday. And I don't normally do it this way. You guys know I don't. I struggled, first of all, with the vertical on the Hobonichi. And second of all, I wanted to be more and more creative. And I found during my daily pages, which I'll show you, I have been getting more and more creative. And so because of that, I thought, I'm going to stick with the vertical the way that it is. And I do have other books where I can be ultra creative. And so I might as well do that. Now, because that's blue, I want to put... Do I want to put... Yeah. Sorry, you guys aren't seeing this. I think I want to put this one here. And these boxes, like I said, are a bit, unfortunately, too wide for these little, they're only an inch and a half. So you do have to trim them down, which for the Villa Beautiful stickers anyway, it's a little frustrating, but that's not her fault for sure. I think she has her own planner. In fact, I know she has. And so these stickers are designed for that. But in the meanwhile, meantime, I'll just take these extra little bits and put them off to the side. So I have those two and then I spend even more time with her because once we're done that, she's going to be, I have a hot water tank on Friday. I must remember, because I didn't write it down now. On Friday, they are coming in and replacing my hot water tank. It's a four and a half hour job. And I've got to be out of my house unless I want to watch them destroy it. Um, from eight in the morning till 4 p.m. So I begged my oldest daughter, I said, you know, hon, um, and I better write that down because you know what, guys, like I will forget. And I'm really bad at this sometimes. So either I'm at my oldest daughter's or I go somewhere um, else or even my middle daughters. It's like, because I can, I can, uh, I can definitely entertain myself, if you will, 
for a good few hours anyway by walking. But um, I think, yeah, I've got two appointments tomorrow. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? This might be a longer video. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah, I only have 20 minutes, so I can't really dawdle. Um, 11. And I'll probably come along at some point and like add paint over the top of it. Um, I like these books to have that crinkle factor. I... I like using this Tomoe River paper to its full advantage and I love how it like crinkles up. I'm very tactile and I love that look. And so on Wednesday, I just have the one. But last week, my goodness, like I was not at my best at all. Not at my best at all. And then, of course, you all know that I had that fender bender, so, like, excuse me, I need to cough. <coughs> <coughs> There's still some residual issues I've got going on. But, you know, such is life. Such is life. I'm really excited, actually, to see my daughter. I, I don't know. She's got a nickname. It's Danny Panda. And I found her this kind of really cute... Um, I wonder if I can grab it. Can I grab it? Uh, no. I have to walk around to grab it. I have a keychain collection, and when I was going through it, I found this for her. And it's got a little panda in there. And panda here. So I know that she'll really like that. Look at that. And it's like a little bottle with a panda in it. So I can't wait to give that to her. Um, okay, turn the page. So I used all of that. And then I have this one. And this one. Yeah, busy week. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Busy, busy week. So I hope you like got your journals out and you're planning along with me. 9.45. Yeah, my specialists are all coming up this week. It's funny how that works. I've been waiting for months for these two doctors, Dr. Jennings and Dr. Pathak. Uh, Dr. Jennings, I see... tomorrow and finally he's going to look at my feet i've been walking around with something called thorn corns do you guys know what those are they're like um and i'd been doing it myself i'd been dealing it with it myself uh by cutting them out now what they are is they're like having thumbtacks at the bottom of your feet and they're extremely painful not to mention that one of my feet have like a bunion and toes that are twisted and all of that because when I was issued boots in the military, uh, I went to Gage Town. We were the last platoon through there. And my feet at the time were size nine women's triple A because I had been a dancer and then gymnastics and my arches were extremely high. I could wear heels. In fact, I showed up wearing heels, which... At the time, I didn't realize, but all the uh, all the instructors were making bets on who was going to VR, which is voluntary release. And <laughs> I show up wearing, you know, flared out pants and, you know, I'm going to use a big box here. Let's make it. Oh, let's make it this blue color. Um. 
that's not going to fit eight to four, but see, I can use those for something. I'm fairly certain of it. Um, so they saw me and I left here for basic training. And it's funny because I started officially and signed in a week before I actually was on the payroll. And when you joined the forces or when I joined the forces, you had to wait until there was a spot available, meaning a job opening. And um, there were several job openings available to me, thankfully. And I'm just looking for another really long box to get me to four. So there's three. Okay, so I can use this one here. So I sh it was like warm and sunny here. It was February. Um, I signed on for the 8th and began on the 16th. Or was it the... Because I was on the flight and in Gage Town by February 9th. So it was a week before that. So I signed on on the 2nd of February. No, I signed on on the 9th. Pardon me. It's hard to remember all these years ago. Signed on the 9th, and it was just after 9-11. I had to wait. And um, because, of course, all the security, right? And, okay, so there we go. Let's get those appointments in before I forget. And when I got there, is that blue? I can't remember if that's blue or black. Let's use this blue one because I know it's got a lovely color in it. I'll use my calendar. This is why this is an essential part of my planning, which is just a plain wall calendar, guys. But, hey, um, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. Uh, nine, forty-five a.m. I'm gonna do that, and then <clears throat> twelve p.m. Don't mind me, guys. I can't chew gum and talk. Zoom, and then meow, lunch, and home. p.m. So this is going to be quite crunch. It's unfortunate I have this call right in the middle, but it is what it is. And then I have my usual uh, appointments. This one is my special one. The foot doctor. And up here, this is my regular doctor. This is why I have a, a, a book dedicated to my medical stuff, guys. I kid you not, like appointments, crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, and then this one is also a specialist for my Meniere's disease. <clears throat> yeah. And this is 9.45. I'm sorry about my voice. I have been struggling with my voice. And then I'm going to star that and star that so that I can put the information here. <coughs> and then this one is my normal doctor. I had to cancel other appointments to fit this in. And then from 8 to 4 p.m., hot water tank. Replaced. So... I can't be here for that. I the um I live in a complex 
that has a uh, caretaker so they could come in and and do that but if i if i were to do any of that it would drive me nuts now it's 904 she's giving me till did i say 915 i really do want to get down these ones and then stick her up See how much I can do but yeah back back to the story of like when I joined basic it was warm I got there it was freezing cold guys oh my goodness I had never experienced cold like that in Gagetown in my entire life and so I was telling you about my feet so I was virtually the last recruit that walk through to get my boots in the supply section and they handed me men's size 10 triple d width boots and to get them to fit my feet properly because it's the military right they don't care um that's what they had unless i went to the mega which was in montreal and this wasn't the mega this was new brunswick gagetown and we were like sleeping in an old jail uh facility which was n5 and um, N5 being that, that was the building number and we were on the third floor. And I was right by the windows wearing these boots and you only get one pair of boots. Like they actually had to order in a second pair of boots, but they, you can't have uh, different size boots on your docu your personal docs, right? So, uh, I had to wear like four or five pairs of woolen socks underneath. And what would happen is they would like bunch in between my toes. And uh, needless to say, when your boots are on your feet 22 hours of the day, it does something to your feet, but you get used to it. So on marches, they would check the feet for blisters. I never got blisters, folks. No, I had... Um, my toenails, though, that was another thing. And I won't get into it because some people get really grossed out by it. But, yeah, it was, like, brutal. And then I had to have surgery on both my feet when I came home from basic. And so now, finally, finally, after all these years, I had seen another doctor in regards to my feet. And I will say her name, Dr. Collins. And she was horrific. I won't say where she worked. But here in town, she was horrific. She accused me, basically, even though she could see my feet, she accused me of wanting to put in a claim just to get money. And all I wanted was some assistance with my feet. And now they cramp up really, really bad. And you guys know I walk, right? So when I'm walking, they'll cramp up and it's like walking on wooden legs. But I insist, because I have other medical stuff, that the walking is much more beneficial. And I don't want to be held back by feet. I just don't. So this one was the week of the 22nd to the 28th. So let's get the tweezers going here. Yeah, so uh, 22nd to the 28th. So when I got off the bus, like first when I got loaded on the bus, I remember the master bombardier kind of looking at me. I was in heels, flared out pants. I mean, that was the style. I was really stylish. I, I, you know, my dad had been in the military, but my dad was not one to share information. And he abdicated from our family when I was, um, long story short, when my oldest daughter got ill. He just unfortunately decided that that was his exit point and so he he never really discussed the military he he had some issues himself and my father went into the coast guard from that he was a nav tech i was a supply tech when i joined he always wanted me to join but I never knew the ins and outs of it. So, but he was militant. So when I grew up, even though my parents were separated and both of them had remarried, uh, when I went to visit my dad, he, he was very militant. So by the time I joined the military, even though, you know, 
I wasn't prepared with, you know, like even, even my underwear, like I wore a thong. I mean, this is TMI, I know, but I couldn't get them to like, you had to fold them two by three inches and lay them in your locker. My, my poor roommate had to loan me. Um, <laughs> she had to loan me some of hers just to get my locker done up properly. Cause otherwise like it would have affected her too. Right. So I do have all the stickers down here. I do now have the date covers for last week. And let's see. I did have a number. I had nine appointments this particular week. Now, of course, this isn't this week. This was last week. And I wasn't feeling well. So um, I ended up dropping it to three. It was three appointments. So do I have three appointment boxes here? Yes, I do. And again, I got to cut them. So Tuesday, 11. So yeah, I was on the, there was uh, 53 of us originally, 63 originally. Um, no. That's not right, because three of them were going to Platoon 2. Uh, there were three platoons there. And so we were pretty close. 60 made a platoon, so we had to be 60. And when we graduated, there was only 41. So that's how many people didn't make it. Um, I was on the list in their mind. I was told by the sergeant... There was an incident that happened that I won't get into, but um, they were really quite impressed by me because they didn't know, first of all, that I was a marksman. And I'm glad there was somebody better because I didn't want any awards. If you look at my hands, do you see how my finger doesn't close? When you salute, that finger has to be closed. Okay, well, like I had a nail go through that as a kid. And so, like, I was really self-conscious of that. And... Also, I'm an introvert, not an extrovert. I didn't want accolades or awards or anything like that. So I'm glad there was only two of us that were, quote unquote, in the na naval uniform. And I did that so that my kids could stay with their dad, right? Like we could all be like together here in the same city. Otherwise, they would have posted me out of the city. And um, but I, I didn't really have a Navy mentality. I had an army mentality. Um, the Army puts their people first, and I hate to say this, but the Navy puts their, their ships first. That's why the Navy calls their people bodies, and the Army, you never hear that. Never. This one's so crooked, I don't know if I can get it up. So yeah, we were called bodies. <laughs> Warm bodies, because we were not the weapon. That one, I'm just going to have to leave the way it is. Yeah. Uh, we were accessories to the weapon, which, of course, is the ship. And look at that. Like, I've made a total mess. Like I said, I can't talk and chew gum. So, apparently, they they all made bets on, like, and this is, like, something that they don't really tell anybody because uh, I only found out because I sat at the like the party um, at the end, they had this like, you did it party kind of thing for all of us. And I, I, oh, look at that, I wrecked that sticker completely. Can I salvage it? I sat down in the middle and I was having my whiskey. <laughs> and because back then whiskey was my friend. And I don't know. This sticker is pretty, like, destroyed. It's hard with these nails, too. Come on. I don't want to waste it. I can look. I mean, this, this whole week was, like, a nightmare anyway. Well, it wasn't a nightmare. I mean, but it was, like, definitely not perfect. Not that anything is. Okay, so those are my appointment times. But I did have that car accident, which I do want to... Um, 
indicate. And how am I going to do that? Well, this sticker here is one of these stickers that mark the page. So I do want to indicate that. for my memory because it hasn't been the greatest. And I know I'm off screen right now, guys, but you'll see it in a second. So this is a tab, okay? So I'm gonna mark this page here so that I remember. And I'm just gonna mark it down here at the bottom that there was this incident so that I can like go back to it and say that was the week. Um, and if you're unaware and you're brand new to my channel, what happened was, is I went to hit the brakes, but my foot slid between the footwell or the space between the gas and the brakes. And I, it was like, you know, like just a little fender bender, but there was two cars involved, two cars in front of me that it was my, it was definitely me um, that happened because it had been raining and my feet were wet. So, um, but I've heard from the first lady, Lillian, and she's fine. I haven't heard from Shannon, who was the one directly in front of me. But I know a lot of you were like, you know, be careful. She'll do this, that, and the other. It doesn't matter. My insurance covers everything. I mean, I've got $5 billion worth of insurance on my vehicle. And that's what they recommend. Because we have a lot of homeless. And if a homeless person jumped in front of my car, I, yeah, um, so this was 11 a.m., 9.30, and 1 p.m. Okay, and then this was the day. So how do I mark that? Don't forget. That's a good one. I don't think I'll ever forget. And that's crooked again too. But you know what, guys? Like, I start fixing those right now. And even though it's driving me, I wish I can get them a little straighter. So yeah, seeing these specialists back to back like this now, like I've waited a long time. And this Dr. Jennings apparently is very, very good. Um, the bunion now is so bad that all the toes are twisting on my left foot, all of them. Um, and on my right foot, um, I have what they call thorn corns. So, I mean, they're corns, right? But they are like walking on thumbtacks. And because of that, I need some help. So I'm going to put this vehicle one here to help me remember. And huh, this one underneath it. So I know what happened. Um, kind of part of me wants to put this one up here, but I'm going to put it here because, um, it says Little Magic Avenue. And the thing was, is I wasn't really feeling great. So I had to drop all these appointments and this is a good size sticker to say, you know, I wasn't really feeling great. Literally dropped six appointments that week. So I'll just put it here on the Monday.
Okay, and then let's get some stickers down here. Um, I love this one. I'll put this one here. I don't think I have to cut this one, even though like it goes into the other box, but it doesn't matter. Some of these stickers, I know you guys can't see them and I apologize. I'm just like trying to figure out. I think I'll use this one to sort of put more information. Here, about what went on, about the ICBC stuff, and beneath that, another one. So, what do they have? Today's goals, errands. Oh. Well, that's my session, guys. Alexa, shut off alarm. So, folks, let me just show you what I've done. So, obviously, I didn't get a whole lot done today. I apologize for that. And that it's a shorter kind of video today. I'll see maybe if I have time later, uh, depending on when I upload this, because it'll be uploaded later. But... I'll give you a quick flip beginning I love this page I did take everything out of this pocket I've got a pocket here my good friend Linda who's down in the States painted that for me years ago and it just covers up the date so I wanted to put that in there I haven't done this but on here I'm going to do something different um, this is my monthly calendars, which is just literally pen to paper. You can see I've got, I forgot to put the appointment in there as well. So I've got to do that. If my light is flickering above, I apologize. I did go out and get light bulbs. I just haven't replaced them. My daughter's going to help me do that, actually. There's certain things I can't do. So that's it. And then March. I haven't got anything forwarded in these months. So that was the first week of January. I did put this vellum in here just to mark that it is the weeklies. That was me trying to do, like, mini journaling and didn't really get to it but that's like um using tombos and water on paints and then didn't do much here but i can clearly see here's where the accident happened and very simple i don't normally put date covers but <clears throat> like i said i'm trying to use up the kits i have so that's this week so far. Hopefully I get to see my oldest daughter on Friday. I did talk to all of the kids yesterday. So here, I should have made a note of that. And what are we doing here? Okay, as long as I'm out the door and like, I'm gonna put one of these little boxes here. So I can indicate touched base. This week, multiple times. With my girls and my grandkids.
I call them grandbabies, guys. <laughs> Even though my oldest is almost 10. He's almost 10. I can't believe it. So that's important to me because it's family, right? So I'm just going to write family. These are the golf balls of my life, if you will. Not the little sand or the little gravel bits, you know. I don't know if you guys know that analogy or not. Um, so then, of course, all these weeks, this is the start of the dailies. Now, I did put in um, some painted butterflies. I believe these are from Tana App. Yeah, because they've got the stamping. This card was from um, Thelma Hall. Thank you again, Thelma. Um, so I wanted to put it on a December one. And she's made this card. It's beautiful. The next one is for vision boards. And what I did here was I used up some scraps of paper. This is not washi. This is scraps of paper. And in here, I'll do my vision board. And I just wanted to use these scraps of paper because like I said, I, I have quite a bit of, of like stuff and I want to be creative in that stuff. So the dailies are like this where I just did a lot of tip-ins. I even put like Winnie the Pooh because I just love Winnie the Pooh. And that's when I was doing like junk journaling and books and stuff. I even used like invoices and added like Maggie Home stickers. Uh, there's my infinite sticker. I have never like committed it anywhere, but I always seem to put it down. This is when I started watching the Gilmore Girls. I have lots to write about it but I haven't done it yet. I have a little like pocket there. These are PET tapes. This particular print, I didn't really like it in the vertical direction. It looked to me uh, not as like aesthetically pleasing as this way. Like I can see a face in here, an eye, some lips, um, you know, and the artist is Michelle Heslop. Um, she is on Instagram and I did pay for this print. Um, there's Winnie the Pooh again. This card is from my friend Kitty in Australia. And I did put some more of that paper down here, some more of that paper here and here. I was very grateful. Um, this one here. I used the top of a kit and put the wildflowers, stickers, and tip-ins. I loved Strawberry Shortcake growing up. This was a cover of a book falling apart, so I salvaged it. And I'll be writing about that memory. Again, I've just got like tipping cards. This was the kaleidoscope I wanted to take my grandchildren to, but it just didn't work out that way. But what I really loved about it was that there is the line, I'm a Leo, and there's my grandson and my granddaughter. Like, I just thought it was great. And it was the line and the witch and the wardrobe, which unfortunately back in September, um, it was not something we could do. Um, again, I've got some of this paper. I just put some stickers down from kits. Um, this is what I use the gouache under here as my schedule, some stickers, um, where I tested the pens, what I want to be doing from those paper. This was a calendar. Um, so, you know, it gives me more opportunities to write in the dailies. Same with this. Um, I do have lots to write about. Same with this, it kind of breaks up all the writing. Again, Tina Apps, the blue butterflies are very important. There's the hummingbird going for the nest. There's rabbit, there's Winnie the Pooh, and that says rabbit. And it says friend up here. I just wanted to break up the writing. At the end of the day, I'm visual. 
This I used a Hobonichi A6 um, envelope. I tipped it in and put some stickers on the back. It's got a card inside. I just decorated it and I've got some post-it notes with the hummingbirds there. Here's another one of these gorgeous um, stickers. This is the back of a postcard. This is See the World. Love that. And then this was wallpaper from a wallpaper book. And I just stuck a pumpkin on it. Layered it up. Yes, it's going to be a thick, thick book, guys. And it doesn't bother me. Um, that was the 22nd and 23rd. This was the 24th and 25th. This was from the Angel Shop because I got one of her... Oh, I just lost one of my lights. Sorry, folks. Uh, it's got to be my, <laughs> my tip to go. I'm sorry about the light. But this was um, when I got the week's cover. And then this one here was from also Villa Beautiful. I also use some of that paper in Tigger. I love Tigger. Um, and then the 26th, 27th, lots of room for journaling, 28th, 29th, again with the Jane. Uh, these are from Busy Bee Planners. And the 30th and 31st, I just put down some foxes. And that is the flip of this book so far guys i have more sticker kits in the back and i can simply slide those in this pocket to have so i don't forget that they're there and i want to make sure that so they hold that really well and that is my time with you guys today. I want to thank you ever so much for spending your time with me. Remember, folks, we all are perfectly imperfect. Obviously, as my light has burnt out, you are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. And I will talk to you next time. Bye for now, everyone.